All right, so now that we have QGIS installed on our machine, we're ready to start um, using it. So um, I'm just going to open it through my list of programs. So um, let's go down here to Q and then QGIS, and it should open. Um, the the uh, setup is on my other screen here, but it's just uh, opening QGIS, which is uh, this is version 3.12. Um, so I downloaded the most recent version as of uh, June 26, 2020, which is when I'm recording this. Um, so if you have a different version, um, it might look slightly different, um, just as a note. Okay, so as you can see, I already have some projects. I'm just going to create a new project. So I'm going to go up here to Project, and then New. Um, and then I'm just going to do a... Uh, save here and I'm going to save it to this folder where I'm uh, staging this uh, pr uh, th uh, this pr uh, example so it's in my teaching folder here QGIS demos and I'm just going to call this demo proj save so I'm, I'm bad at, about saving projects both in this environment and also like in ArcGIS. So, but it is a good, it's good to save your projects and obviously save often if you're doing work. Okay, so I'm going to show you around this interface a bit. Um, so first off, we have this browser area. If you're an ArcGIS user, this is very similar to the like catalog, right? So like our catalog. So it lists links that you have, the data layers, uh, your local machine. So on this machine, I have two drives, um, the C and D drive. So I can search for files locally there in the in the folder tree. And then I also have some other specific types of data layers. So um, first we have geo packages and spatial light. Those are open source file geodatabase formats. And um, in, this, uh, in, this, in these examples, I'm going to work mainly with geo packages. So you'll see a lot of that. Um, you can uh, connect to PostGIS databases, which are open source also. So those are GIS or geospatial databases that work in the free and open source PostgreSQL environment. In fact, QGIS, one of its original uses was as a kind of front-end GIS editor and viewer for the PostGIS environment. Uh, we're not going to work a lot with that in here, but I, um, I did want to note um, you know, that it exists. Then we have... Um, this uh, other database connection, so uh, Microsoft SQL, Oracle, DB2, we're not really going to work with those. And then we have connections to like web data, so for example, XYZ tiles, so to load in uh, raster tiles um, from a server. We have some of our open uh, service uh, definitions. Um, and then we also can connect to some ARC uh, servers, map servers, feature servers. So we'll fiddle with some of those examples in a later video. So one of the great benefits of QGIS is that it's able to um, load in and convert a wide variety of data formats, which uh, I'll show you throughout this um, throughout the course. Uh, this layers area, I currently don't have anything loaded in, but that's where your data layers are going to show up. Um, so you can think about you can think of this as your your um, content pane or um, table contents, you know, in ArcMap, ArcPro. Um, this is your map area, so this is where our geographic data is going to plot. Um, over here, I have this the toolbox loaded in, so this is similar to like Arc Toolbox. So this is a directory for you to um, to uh, access the available like tools and geoprocessing options and whatnot. Um, so the ones that have this little Q icon, those are tools that are QGIS tools, uh, or like toolboxes. And then if you go in here, we have the specific tools. So there's some cartography-related tools, raster analysis-related tools, vector analysis-related tools. Um, down here at the bottom, we have GDAL. So these are tools from the Geo Geographic Data Abstraction Library. Um, so, for example, doing raster and vector conversions and on some analyses. 
And that's installed because we use that OS Geo install where that came in as a second, uh, or as, a, as another uh, toolkit. And then we also we have tools from Grass GIS and then Saga, which is another open source environment, which has a lot of tools that you can see there. So that's our toolbox. Um, you can also search for tools uh, similar to the Arc toolbox. If you do a like, clip, you can, you know, as a search, here's a clip tool for uh, clipping vector data. Um, if you can also load in and look at recent tools that you've used there in the list. Okay, and then up here we have a series of uh, windows you know, related to the project um, views, so like adding a new map view, um, working with layers, settings, plugins, uh, some shortcuts for vector and raster data analysis, working with databases, um, web data. Um, some of the buttons are actually pretty similar to the buttons we have in ArcGIS. So I'm going to load in a layer here just so we can play with some. So I'm going to go into this uh, QGIS demo folder and then data. And I'm going to go into this database and I'm just going to load in, um, let's see, we'll load in this, uh, this data set here. And it's just saying it's doing a data transform um, or a projection transform similar to like you know, projection on the fly um, in ArcGIS. So we hit OK. So there we have a layer. Um, so uh, let's see how we pan and move around in QGIS. So if I have the hand tool here, this allows you to, to pan in, in space. Uh, this I think zooms to the full extent. Pan map. Oh, sorry. Pan map to selection. So if you select something, um, I guess I don't know if I have any I have selection tools. Yeah, let's do this real quick. So there. So we selected some features. So oh, that pans. All oh, that basically centers it. It doesn't change the scale. So it just centers over the selection. Uh, let me see here. All right. Um, zoom in. Zoom out pretty common tools. We can go back to prior zooms. And again, there's similar options for in ArcGIS. Um, zoom to selection. So we select something. Um, let me see here. Select some features in there. So that zooms into the selection. And then back out. Okay, so that's zooming around. This second set of tools, or second row here, so we have tools to open our data source manager, create a new geo package layer, a new shape file, a new spatial light layer, um, create temporary files. This area here, which is grayed out currently, that's for editing um, and you know, drawing and digitizing. Since we don't have any layers that were, um, so we're not currently drawing or digitizing anything, all those are grayed out. Um, and then we have some other features here. So like this opens up like the Python console. Um, if you want to type, uh, type Python or use the QGS um, Python API. Um, and then we have this uh, help documentation. Okay, so um, let me uh, so clear this out. Um, so that's just a simple um, overview of the of the of the environment or, or workspace. So in the next set of videos, we're going to start looking at um, uh, reading in and working with data.